So here's an update on the hibiscus. They're doing really well. I'm so happy that they came back so much. These all came back. These came back. There's one right there that's not not coming back yet. And this one, I just can't believe it. Finally, it's all back. Look at that. Can you see that? I don't know. Look at this one. Coming back. Over here. This one came back. These two are pretty dried out, though. I don't think they're going to make it. We'll see. I'll just keep watering it. I flood it when I water it. And here's my botan one. Looking good. Be right back. So now I'm going to plant that tomato right there. It's called Early Girl in this bag. I've gone over to the garden or the, the dirt pile and filled this bag about half, a little over half full, and this bag the same. I'll show that now. So as you can see with a little help from a dirty friend, the bags are full, or full enough. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to add Epsom salts, about that much. Perlite, that's supposed to make the potting mix more airy. I already got the lime in there from the big chunk I put in there from last year. That's called earthworm castings. This is eggshells. I like eggs and I save the shells and dry them and grind them up in my bullet, magic bullet. Now I'm going to stir this up. And then I'm going to make a mud pie out of it. 
when I was a little kid, my best friend and I liked to make mud pies in the yard. See, there's that garden line. And it was so frustrating when I got my gypsum, gypsum and lime and it was all one big heavy hunk of wetness. Probably have that bag a little too full, but I'm going to leave it. Now I'm going to make my mud pie. And I want to make sure for sure that the water goes all the way down the center at least. Oh, a mosquito. I tried to get the outside of the bag a little bit moist, moist, a little bit wet too. I read somewhere that the word moist is like one of the most hated words by people. I read it on the internet, of course, so you know it's true. These bags get really heavy when they're all wet, when they're mud. Well, I'm going to call that good. Good enough. Now, I might put a little dirt around the edge from my other bag. The worst part about these bags is they tear. I like the other smaller ones better that have the design on the side. They're more expensive. I think they're like a buck fifty or two dollars. But, and they're smaller so they don't use as much dirt. And they're not as heavy. But they work as good, but they rip so easy. They rip easier than these. So now the tomato is going to come out of this, squeeze the bottom. Early girl tomatoes are supposed to get tomatoes on them earlier than others. That's why they're called early girls, I guess. Now I'm going to snip off with my fingernails the bottom too. I'm going to plant this to about right there. I'm going to attempt to. I always make big messes. That's why my tombstone or my grave marker is going to say she spent her life making messes and cleaning them up. She she spent her life fixing things. Ta-da! Now press down firmly. And then, I think I'll rinse my hands off. Now I'll water that in good. I'm known for overwatering. Now 
now some more of this dirt, soil, whatever, potty mix. I guess it's called potty mix. What's in this is the leftovers from prior years, which I started out with potting mix. And all the other things I've shown you, it's a combination of everything. I usually use a little bowl to put it in there, but I don't know where that little bowl is right now. Okay. I like to leave the bag turned down one turn, and then I lift it this way rather than by the handles. Okay, now, my fertilizer is down here. This is called 10-10-10 fertilizer. like that and put it put it in a ring around the outside careful keeping it away from the roots and then I'm going to cover it with a layer of the dirt soil Potty mix, whatever you want to call it. You can see that tomato's already drooping. I'll press down the edges firmly. I don't want it buried too deeply. I don't want it buried past those. I think that one's broken. Or it's just weak already. Something. We'll see. I'm going to water it again. And want give it a little wash off. City water isn't that great for the roots. I mean, for the to get on the leaves. So I try not. But that's a little sloppy on that one. So I'm going to move the dirt around from the bottom down there. I don't want to cover it too deeply. My camera ran out of space, so I had to go inside and delete the file, transfer the files to the computer and delete them right in the middle of while I'm doing this. Okay, usually I don't do that second watering in until I take it off the table because it gets too heavy for me to carry. But I just did it this time for the video. So what I'll do is I will take it over there and put it in that kitty litter thing and fill it with water. I have such a mess out here now. My next task is going to be to put little little stickers in everything, or little sticks in everything and mark what they are. And then clean up this mess. 
I sure wish it, it would rain though so I could get these pools moved over there and put the fence up so I could get everything taken over there. But I can't do it because the deer will eat them. So that's it for now.